this is my no BS review of Focusy. So if you want to grab the lifetime deal, I want to show you if it's worth it or not. So let's go jump over and check it out right now. What's up, everyone? Let's get started with this review. So Focusy is a desktop app. It's not a cloud service. That means that you download and you have the app on your computer. That said, you're, it's available for Windows and Mac. Be aware that if you use this on Windows, you might encounter errors. This has happened because I have had chats on my Facebook group and they tell me that it crashes when they render. So do consider that on my Mac version, I have no issues. I have the M1 and the M2 and no issues with rendering. Now, the, the reason that this happens for Windows is because there's all sorts of flavors for Windows and basically they need to bug out all of those issues in return Mac. Well, there's not many Macs around, so they got it handled, right? So that's the first thing you need to consider. So if it's Windows, do consider that there will be bugs. And if it's Mac, it'll run smooth, okay? So the lifetime deal, it's this one. It's 39 bucks for one app. That means that it's one computer and it's 39 bucks. You get one gigabyte of default storage, which I don't think storage is a big deal because especially you're gonna do this on your computer and you get the same results as you would with license tier two or three. But if you need more computers, jump into license tier two or three. In my case, I grabbed license tier two, which is more than enough for my three computers. And I should be good to go with that. But I think it's a good price for what you're going to get, especially if it works great, right? But if you encounter a lot of bugs on Windows, then you might say it's not worth paying it unless they bug out all of that. All right, so how the hell does Focus Seat work? Okay, so first off, I already have the Mac up here and I gave it permissions that I can record the screen, etc., and show my face on it. Good thing I like about it, it's super easy to use, super easy to add the zooms inside of here. So that's good to consider, all right? So you got full screen, custom, and window. In this case, I'm gonna go full screen. I'm gonna record my face with the computer and no microphone since I'm recording this on top of this, all right? Kind of weird, but yeah. Okay, so I've selected the whole computer. You can see the little outline here. There's my green screen. Let me hit that there. Okay, we are good to go. And we have the options here on the bottom again. I can select the microphone, but in this case, I'll just go ahead and record. So that means I would record as I would normally and I'll scroll around here. So here we go. Checking this out. I'm gonna click on this overview. And what that does, when I click on the, on the overview, it makes a zoom on it, all right? Now let's go click on something else like, I don't know, Mac, this Mac icon. Well, nothing happens there. Let me go into the guide, for example. Here we go. I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to click on screen record blog. There we go. Just kind of give you the idea because I want to show you how this turns out at the end. Okay. And let's open this up. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go back into Gimu and they got their products here. I'm going to go to focus C and there we go. Okay. So let's stop this recording and it's going to open up the editor. So as I said, Every time that you click on it, it makes a zoom. So I haven't done anything. Check this out. I haven't clicked on anything, but when I click on it, boom, it makes that zoom, which looks pretty nice. Zoom out. We continue. And it zooms again. There we go. When I click on that, so on and so forth. Okay. So what I like about Focus C is that you can adjust these focuses. So hey, I want to make this really short. It doesn't have to be super long. When I scroll here, it actually shows me the playback. So that means that I can add a zoom really quickly. Boom, just add it there. See how that works? Oops, add another one. I'll go ahead and delete it by selecting it. And again, I can go and add another zoom. So I can adjust these zooms just in case it's too much zoom. So for example, the, the let me click on the zoom. Here we go, maybe it's too much. I'll just reduce it so it doesn't zoom that much. So I wanna get that little zoom, but not too much. So let's go check it out. Boom, not too much zoom. See how this zoom is too long? I'm gonna make it shorter. Here we go. Goes back, boom, and we continue. So it's super easy to add zoom, adjust the zoom, or delete the zoom, which I do like. And then we have the canvas size. So it's super easy and straightforward just to click on this. And now it's 16 by nine and it added this. Well, it, would, it was already there, but it adjusted the background so it fits 16 by nine. So now, now I can upload this on YouTube and it'll be the right size. But what if I wanna do one on one, four by three or 19 by six for story mode? And you can see it adjusted my face and I can move the face around and I can select different type of layouts, which I'll show you in a bit, all right? 
So you got your padding. See here, maybe you, you need you don't need too much padding. The insert, the roundness, maybe it's too rounded. Just want to give it a little bit less rounding. And the shadow. Eh, there we go. You can see the shadow there. Kind of there. Okay. Uh, the, the background. You got these background options. You got your pointer options. So maybe add a little color there. None, default, ripple, ring, spotlight when you click on it, etc. Um, I wish you could upload something here. I've seen some other videos where you have your actual video face moving around in the mouse. Could be interesting, right? Annotations. So the screen zoom in, screen moving. You got your Canva layout. So check this out. <laughs> okay, here we go. You got different type of sections that, that you can add to your face, which I think is pretty cool, right? I'll keep the normal one. And you got your Canva settings here. You got your filters, camera frame. Let's add some gradient there. There we go. Makes it a little bit more interesting. And something that's missing here, and obviously I have to say what I don't like about it, is that it doesn't have a green screen remover. Okay, so I would like to remove the chroma key here with an option. So I wish they add that there, okay? Then you got your captions. I haven't downloaded captions. It downloads it to your computer and it'll do auto captions and then you can edit those. And then we have the watermark if you want to add a watermark to the video. So pretty much simple way to make really interesting videos that pop out. And when you export, in this case, you got option for MP4, GIF, you got your resolution, in this case, for example, 4K, which would be the way to go. And you got the, the option all the way to 60 FPS if you want to have really smooth transitions. But I think 30 FPS is more than enough, the name and the save too. So if I want to export this one with 4K at 30 FPS, I'll do 60 FPS. All right, let's go ahead and export this. And it's going to start the rendering process, okay? So that is Focus E. Like I said, this is the lifetime deal that's going on right now. So basically, it's way more affordable than what you would get it on their site. So if you grab it on their site, it's way more expensive because it's, for example, one computer, $70 compared to $39 and five computers, $180 compared to I think it's $100. So it's way cheaper to grab it over here on AppSumo. So the link will be provided in the description in case you want to grab it. And like I said, on my testing, it hasn't crashed. But again, I'm using Mac. So do consider that if you're on Windows, give it a test run, check it out. Talk to support if it's backfiring on you. And if they solve it, well, you're good to go. And if not, well, go ahead and refund it because you have a 60 day money back guarantee that if you don't like this for any reason, you can go ahead and refund it. But in my case, everything's good to go. And let's give it a few minutes for this to finish and show you the end result. Here we go. It's about to finish and boom, we have the end result. Like I said, this was rendered on 4K max FPS of 60 and we have the video. With all the zooms and all that good stuff, a 40 second video, no issues at all. All right, there you go. That is Focus C. Link will be provided in the description and that's a wrap.